You know, having this channel, I get asked a lot of questions and people ask my opinions on a lot of things. Well, I'm someone who's got a lot of opinions. Some of them good, some of them bad, some of them informed, some of them less informed. And one thing I'm not afraid of is sharing with people. And one thing I get asked a lot is my opinions on firearms training and why I don't promote it. A lot of people notice that I don't promote firearms training or tactical training or safety training, whatever you want to call it. I just don't promote it. And people ask me why. So tonight I thought I'd tell people why I don't promote it. There's actually several different reasons, and I'll go over those tonight. The first reason is, if you watch my gun channel, you probably watch other gun channels too. There's no shortage of gun channels out there that are always telling you, go get training, get firearms training, get tactical training, get safety training, etc. So if you have them already telling you, you don't need me telling you. So I don't even bother with it. Another reason is, I just don't think you need it. I don't think most people require training to be able to safely handle a firearm or to be able to handle a firearm effectively. I think most people with just general common sense and average intelligence can figure out how to safely operate a firearm. They can handle it in a proper manner. They can do this on their own. They can learn from themselves. They can learn from their family. They can learn from their fathers, etc. They don't need a firearms instructor teaching them. I think this is evident in the fact that we've had a country where we've had firearms in people's hands for almost two centuries now, and the vast majority of people aren't killing themselves or anyone else with their firearms. Obviously, most people are doing fine without any formal training. And we have hundreds of thousands of self-defense cases with a firearm every year, and those people prevail, and they do just fine. And what, maybe 1% of them has had any type of formal training with a firearm, yet they still manage to do just fine? This whole notion that most people can't handle firearms safely, that's just propaganda, that's bullshit. Now, we both know both sides of the spectrum like to do their propaganda. The right likes to say, you know, people who have a higher education are know-it-alls, they're elitists who think they know what's best for you and you should look down on them. You know, they try to demonize education. And people on the left, they try to just demonize everybody that isn't rich or powerful or, you know, educated, etc. They try to say, most people are stupid and you can't trust them, so you got to tell them what to do. And unfortunately, that filters onto the right side too, because I see people on the right a lot time saying, you know, most people are too stupid to handle a firearm. And I just don't believe that's true. In fact, it statistically just can't be true because like I said, every year, a lot of stupid and irresponsible people are figuring out how to use a gun in self-defense just fine without any instructor telling them what to do. They're able to figure out which end to point the bad guy and when to pull the trigger without any help whatsoever from a professional instructor. And as far as safety is concerned, those same stupid people are doing just fine. If you look at states that have strict requirements training-wise on handgun permits, carry permits, and states that have no requirements whatsoever for training, you don't really see a disparity there. You don't see a difference between one has a lot more accidents than the other. They're about the same, so obviously the training doesn't make that much difference. Now, I'm not saying don't go get training. I think training is an excellent thing that everyone should have. You should learn to safely and properly handle your firearm. If you choose to carry a gun, if you choose to exercise that right, and it is a right to carry a gun, not just own one. Some people think it's just own one. I think it's your right to carry a gun. And if you choose to exercise that right, you have an obligation to do so safely. Just like when you drive a car, you have an obligation to do so safely and not harm people. So I think it's no different. And I do think driving a car is a right too. A lot of people think it's not a right because it's not in the Constitution. Well, the Constitution clearly says just because it ain't in here doesn't mean it's right. If it's something that you get to normally do as part of your normal life and your free right to travel, etc., you have a right to it. And the government has no more authority to take that right away from you than they do to take your freedom away until you've done something to justify having it taken away. So driving is a right, carrying a gun is a right, and you should be able to do it safely when you do it. Now, my next thing kind of comes from that whole, well, most people are too stupid idea. I think that when we as a culture go around saying, you've got to have professional training to handle a firearm, we just feed that whole leftist idea that most people can't handle a firearm safely because we're basically saying guns are so dangerous that you have to have an expert teach you how to handle it before you should touch one. We're just feeding that. We're basically saying guns are too dangerous for most people. And I don't like that. I don't like that whole idea. I don't like that whole notion. I don't like how we're helping out the anti-gunners with that whole mindset. And my final reason is, I just get so sick of the sycophants that just worship at the altar of these people that teach classes. Like I said, most of these guys have never even fired a gun in duress. They're good mechanics when it comes to the mechanics of a firearm. Some of them are good psychologists, and those are the best teachers, the ones that are good at mechanics and psychology. Because they teach you not only how to operate your weapon, but how to keep control of yourself while you're operating that weapon, how to keep the proper mindset. There's so much good stuff in training that I think everyone should take it if they have an opportunity. I'm just not going to tell you that you have to. But like I say, these sycophants that just take everything for gospel. They're like, this stuff we're teaching you now, that's the shit. That stuff they were teaching you 10 years ago, well, that's all gimmicky. That was garbage. And they neglect to remember that 10 years ago, people were saying, well, that stuff they taught you 10 years ago, that was all gimmicky garbage. The stuff we're teaching you now, this is the shit. 
like I said, most training is good. They teach you the things you need to know, the mechanical things, the psychological things, etc. The stuff you should learn. And they can help you learn it. Now, they do wrap it in some flash. They have to. They're selling you a product. They have to convince you to part with a lot of your money to take this class. Something you should take, but they still have to sell it to you. So there's some gimmicky stuff like throw your gun on the ground. Now you know it's a tool. Well, if you didn't know your gun was a tool before you threw it on the ground, well, throwing it on the ground once isn't going to change that. It isn't going to help you. But, you know, it's flash. And there are some training courses that go a little further and, you know, act like you're going to be storming a citadel somewhere, but most of those are for fun. The basics are what you need to know. So if you look at most training, most training, no matter how different it is, they all have the same basics. Basics haven't changed much. People like to pretend they've changed a lot. You know, some stances have changed, some opinions on things have changed, but firearms haven't changed much in a hundred years and neither have the basics. So pay attention to those. Take some classes, pay attention to those basics. Everything else, Keep it, toss it away, whatever you want. Realize what's fluff, realize what isn't, but learn the basics. And luckily, even the classes that have some of the flashy stuff, like throw the gun on the ground, they all have some flashy stuff, are still excellent courses. Like I said, they teach you that proper mindset as well as the mechanics of operating your firearm. So I still will say, take them, but I'm not going to promote them. So in the end, basically my reasons are, one, I don't need to promote it because everybody else already does. Two, I don't think you really need to take courses to be a competent firearms owner. I don't think you need to take these courses to be competent with your weapon. Three, I don't like how it feeds that whole leftist idea that most people aren't competent to handle a weapon unless they've been trained by a professional. Just don't like that. And finally, it gets a little old listening to the fanboys worship at the altar of some of these guys. And believe me, it's not because I got something against the teachers. The teachers are usually really good teachers. In fact, every one of them that I've personally spoken to, I would trust to train me or any family member I have how to protect themselves. But it's the fanboys that are the problem. The teachers are good. They do their jobs. They're good at it. They teach you some flash. Of course, it's a business. But the fanboys just take it too far. It's like, I got nothing personal against Justin Bieber, but believers are a pain in the ass and I can't stand them. It's kind of the same way with firearms instructors. They get these fanboys that worship them and they just don't know when to shut up and they don't know when to take things seriously and when not take things seriously. So they get a little bit annoying. So there you have it. That's why I don't promote firearms training. Now, like I said, you should take it. So I guess I kind of am promoting it because if you can take firearms training, take it. It's fun even. You'll learn something and it's fun. But don't go around telling other people they have to have it and don't be thinking that you have to have it either. Have a little more faith in yourself and have a little more faith in your fellow man.